What's up fellow travelers, my name is Brian and welcome to my channel where I present travel tips, tricks and vlogs on a weekly basis. Fall is officially upon us. This is the first episode I'm filming in the official fall season and it is beautiful and I'm looking forward for this. Today we are in Montebello, Quebec, situated in the Uruguay region of Quebec not too far from Ottawa or from Montreal, here you'll find some fantastic outdoor activities, some of the best in the region, notably Pacomega and also Canuck Nature Park. Also, you'll find some delicious foods, microbreweries, and some of the best accommodations, notably the Chateau Montebello, which I'll have a chance to stay at this winter. So with that, guys, will you join me while we explore some of the best things to do here in Montebello? We are beating our amazing day here in Montebello by visiting Canuck Nature Park. It is one of the largest privately owned nature reserves in North America with 65,000 acres of land and over 60 lakes. There are tons of outdoor activities to do here, notably hiking. And today, we're gonna to be doing the Baldy Trail, which brings us all the way to the fire tower and also checking out the Magic School Bus. That's right, the Magic School Bus. Not the one from our childhood TV show, but just something really cool to check out. Just a quick reminder, it costs $40 per person to come in, so it isn't cheap, but if you do stay in the accommodations, it's included. So with that, let's go hit the Baldy Trail. Now that we're halfway up the hill, we arrive at this amazing plateau which offers breathtaking views of the region. You can see from here not only Lake Papineau and the entire nature reserve we're in right now, but at far you can actually see the Mont Tremblant mountain range. We're now going to head to the fire tower and while I'm doing that, I'm going to show you a little bit of the footage I took at this viewpoint. are whenever you're walking in a trail in Quebec and you see these massive boulders out of the middle of nowhere and you're wondering how this thing get there usually it's because of the glacier period um, that brought these boulders around uh, yeah so you'll see these a few times around different trails in national parks it's pretty cool let's keep going so after a pretty difficult hike considering that all the trails are not maintained and I don't have my hiking poles with me, but still a great hike. We are now at the top where you have the fire tower. This should offer some amazing views of the region. I'm gonna admit I have a fear of heights, so this should be pretty interesting. You can climb it at your own risk, obviously, but with that, let's go check it out. It feels good to be on firm ground. <laughs> I really do not like heights. Now that we're done at the fire tower, we're gonna head back down the mountain, get to the car, and we have one last attraction to visit in the nature park before we head to downtown Montebello to get a delicious bite to eat.
after a short drive and a really short hike, we are now at the Magic School Bus. Honestly, I feel like I'm in the movie Into the Wild where I'm just chasing a bus in the forest. But still, while it's not the most impressive thing ever, it's just something that's interesting to do here in the region. And actually, you can spray paint the bus. There's actually cans of spray paint right beside it. So let's see what I can create in the next couple of seconds. Well guys, I just took the inner artist in me and applied to this magical bus. I mean, I had to go into my high school years to get that artist out of me, to make this amazing subscribe button. But all in all, Canuck Nature Park has been really fun. I really enjoyed it. The hike was really intense, but still offered amazing views. Now I know that it is pricey for $40. I mean, if you're a family of five, you definitely can't afford to come to just do a hike here. But what you can do is rent an accommodation, which they offer great accommodations, and do activities during your stay. Now that my stomach is telling me that I'm hungry, I'm gonna head to downtown Montebello, and we're gonna go to Chocomatsi, which makes artisan chocolate. And trust me, I'm gonna be a good client today. So we just visited the Chukka Matsiv inside and we got some delicious chocolates and local goods. So Chukka Matsiv is a must do stop when you're in Montebello or in the Udoi region. I come here so many times a year. They make delicious chocolate. And after a long day of hiking, there's nothing better than this. Wow. <laughs> I know I'm breaking rules by eating dessert before supper, but who cares? This is delicious. Now, let's go get a poutine. After eating a delicious bite to eat at Snack and Dennis here in Montebello, where they make fantastic poutines using Montebello cheese, we're now gonna head to Pacomega. It is one of the key attractions here in the Udoi region. It's mostly known for its daytime activities where you drive through and see animals, but we're doing something a little different. That is, we're doing a nocturnal walk in Pacomega. So we're gonna see the animals in their environment at the nighttime while it's illuminated. It's a 1.5 kilometer walk, and we should be able to see some pretty cool things. So with that, Let's head on over to Pacomega and let's go check out some animals. Well guys, as you can tell, it's now the following day. I got back last night from Pacomega and I was so tired, I went right to bed. I had a fantastic time last night during the illumination event at Pacomega. I'll be totally honest with you though. I'm not usually a big fan of Pacomega because they encourage people to feed the animals and I don't think that's a good habit to teach. That being said, last night's event was a really good activity. They, it's not about the animals, it's really about the light show. And yes, you do see the wolves, but really it's a light show that makes it really amazing, especially in that environment. So I highly recommend it. All in all, I had a fantastic day in Montebello with the Canuck Nature Park and its great trails and the food and the chocolates. Montebello is definitely a place you have to visit when you're in the Udra region. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, hit the subscribe button down below for more travel tips, tricks, and vlogs on a weekly basis. And by the way guys, leave me a question down below about me, my travel experiences, or a question you have about traveling in Quebec because I'll be answering it in a future Q&A in the month of November. With that guys, I'll see you next Sunday at 11am for all new travel episode. And with that, don't forget, Say travels.